Hi, and welcome to your next lecture in Computer Science for Everyone. Let's talk a bit about computers. First of all, a very brief computer history. Don't worry, it's going to be really brief. The first computers we have were mechanical machines like the Abacus. Um, and we call them computers because they were used to do computations and do calculations. Nowadays, computers, as you will know, are electronic and they're digital like any microcomputer that you might be using to watch this video on, for example. A microcomputer is just, it's just that, a computer that is very small in one chip. And you'll know what a chip is later on as well. So what is a bug? You'll encounter this term a lot during this course and certainly during your programming career or programming hobby. Um, a bug is just an error in your program. And let's let's see where this term came from because it doesn't seem to make sense that it's called a bug. Well, actually, one of the first digital computers we had was the Harvard Mark II. And that was a really big mechanical, well, I call it mechanical computer because it was that big. Um, and one day it stopped working. And what happened is that a moth has actually stopped in one of the relays that connected two components together. Um, and it got fried and it caused a short circuit. When the people that were operating the computer found this moth there, they said, oh, we found a bug. And that obviously was not something that was found very often, so they found it quite funny. And they documented that as a bug. And then the term stuck until nowadays, uh, where we call any error in our computers a bug. Although, of course, we don't usually find bugs inside our computers. If you do, you probably have a problem with your computer and you should take it to a repair shop or something. Computers nowadays are programmable. And what this means is that you can program them. And fortunately for us, because this is what this course is about, um, and this means we can store instructions in them, we can write instructions and store them in the hard drive, and we can run these later. An example of this is um, like the, in the, the internet browser you're using to watch this video, or the app and the iPhone that you're using to watch this video, as well as any other piece of software you might be using on a regular basis. Computers don't make mistakes. This is kind of true. Computers don't usually make mistakes by themselves for no reason. If your computer crashes, or that is what, what we know as a blue screen, your computer goes blue and it just shuts down, um, this is usually because of an error in programming or um, or an error in memory management of your programming or something like that, it will never, quote-unquote, never be an, a hardware error. It will never be an error in your computer unless your computer is faulty. And computers are extremely fast. And what this means is, in our programming for now, we don't have to worry about making our programs fast, optimizing our program, because they are really fast and the programs we're going to be making are not going to require um, that much power. So this is a really brief introduction to computers. We've learned that computers are programmable, they don't make mistakes, they're really fast. We know what a bug is, we know that a bug and a glitch is the same thing. And now we're ready to move into the next lecture. So stick with me and I'll see you in the next one.